So ChatGPT just added this new feature to its bunch of plugins and add-ons, and this feature is called Code Interpreter. Now, you might have heard about this before, but if you haven't, it's because it's still in its alpha, meaning that it's still in its early phases of testing and isn't ready for public release just yet. But I want to show you and I want to talk about this new feature because it is truly game changing and the things that you can do with this are honestly going to change in many different industries around the world because its ability to process data in a very succinct and efficient way are truly mind breaking. So it says code interpreter, an experimental model that can solve tasks by generating Python code and executing it in a Jupyter notebook. You can upload any kind of file and ask the model to analyze it, produce a new file, which you can download. Now, that might sound like a bunch of mumbo jumbo jargon, but essentially you can upload files, analyze the data, and then get back out different file sizes. Now, as many of you know, as long as you're creative, you're gonna be able to do some wild stuff with this. And the community has been doing some very wild stuff with this add-on. So let's get into a look at what the community has been doing and just how you can use this yourself when it does release. So one of the first examples I really did want to show you, and this was one that surprised me the most because it didn't seem like something that ChatGPT was going to ever be able to do, but it was able to edit a video. You see right here, it says, I'll upload a GIF and you give me a five seconds MP4 with a dramatic slow zoom in. No talk, just go. Sure, please upload the GIF file and I'll create a five second MP4 video with a dramatic slow zoom effect. So essentially this person is using code interpreter in alpha and they're essentially asking them to change the video clip to have a slow zoom in with just the five second clip and they're saying just do this so essentially this is the five second clip that they've used and then you're going to see that ChatGPT actually finishes working and then adds the slow zoom effect and then of course once they've downloaded the video you can see that this slow zoom effect is present so this is something that i genuinely didn't think that ChatGPT was ever going to be able to do but it seems that with plugins, that anything is going to be possible with ChatGPT. So I find this super duper interesting because this example shows us that this is still in alpha and this is still in the very, very early days. So I'm wondering what other kinds of, you know, I guess you could say interpretations and plugins are going to be available in the future because this just goes to show how smart ChatGPT is and what it's able to do, especially with Code Interpreter, because this wasn't something that particularly we thought it was going to be able to do because if you know Code Interpreter, essentially it's something that just interprets data, but this is another level. For those of you saying it's just a video clip that's just being edited very quickly, understand that there are many different applications that we can have and this is still early, so remember that fact. Of course, we had a TikTok user show us the vast capabilities that this does have when you actually combine this with Excel. Now, I know that some people aren't too keen on watching TikToks, but this short video does show a user's experience and it definitely explains and highlights what it can be done with Excel. Now, I'd love to show you this, but currently it's only available in alpha and is only rolled out to a select test group of users. So you should watch this and then we're gonna continue on in this video. So I have this massive financial model document and with the new code interpreter, I can actually upload a document. So I'm gonna throw in that document and ChatGPT starts analyzing that spreadsheet. Once it knows everything about the spreadsheet, I'm gonna ask it, what interesting trend should I be aware of? And just like that, it does a deep analysis of the entire document. This is some powerful analysis and I can follow up with any other data questions I have. ChatGPT can now handle tasks that would take hours or even days for data analysts to complete. I'll be showing more powerful examples of the code interpreter soon. So yeah, that example there just goes to show how powerful this is going to be. I mean, we all know that many boring jobs or many jobs that require, I guess you could say mundane tasks such as data entry and data analysis are quite time consuming and I guess you could say tedious, but this is going to allow for the rapid automation and I guess you could say rapid analysis of data extraction from certain tasks. So this is going to be very, very interesting as you can see it was able to get that Excel data and analyze it really, really quickly. So I wonder if this is going to contribute to AI job loss, which is something that is a concern. But at the same time, this is something that is very effective, but let's get onto some more of the examples that we want to show you. So you can see right here that this user said, this was kind of delightful. I uploaded a CSV file of every lighthouse location in the US. Then they asked ChatGPT code interpreter to create a GIF of the map of the lighthouse locations where the map is dark, but the lighthouse twinkles. So essentially you can see they asked to create this GIF on screen now, which you can see showcases every single lighthouse in US. And of course it's twinkling on the map, which is of course 
a very nice visual to aid a presentation or whatever data visualization task that you may have. So like we said before, this is something that is honestly quite interesting. Then we had this one where someone used it to create a visualization of every single UFO sighting in a HTML heat map. And this is really, really cool and let them create as many versions as they want. So like we said, this is gonna be something that is good for data visualization because as you know, sometimes it takes a very long time to gather all of that data, export all of that data, then of course, visualize that data as well. Then of course, we had one of the most mind blowing examples. So essentially what this user wanted to do was they essentially wanted to actually use ChatGPT to extract a color palette from an image. Now, this was something that I didn't really think ChatGPT was gonna be able to do. I mean, it's usually just about basic data visualization, but it simply asked ChatGPT to be able to do that. And then you can see it literally generates the code, then actually generates the ability to extract that color palette from the file size. And then in the final moment, it actually manages to give it the color palette. Now, this is of course by a user on Twitter and it shows the, I guess you could say, chain of thought prompting that is required to be able to extract this color palette. Now, I've got to be honest with you guys, the things that people are using ChatGPT for is honestly more and more surprising every single day. And you can see right here at the end, the color palette is finally generated. And it definitely does show that ChatGPT has a lot more use than we did think. I mean, many people thought that this was just going to be a simple chatbot, but you're seeing that it's able to do a lot more than we thought. So one thing that's starting to confuse me now, or I guess you could say start to open my curiosity a bit, is what other things is AI going to be doing that we thought it would never be able to do. Another thing we should add is that if you are wondering, do I have access to ChatGPT code interpreter, you should go ahead and click on your settings. Then if you scroll down to beta features right here, you can see two tabs. Now, there might be an additional tab for you depending on which kind of user you are. If you are a plus user, you are likely to have this version of ChatGPT rolled out to you just make sure you tick these boxes because that is where you are likely going to see code interpreter. If not, then I guess it isn't on yours. You can see that it isn't currently on mine and I am currently waiting for it, but this is where you should check. So this was another example of code interpreter and it says the best code interpreter feature on ChatGPT is the most mind blowing thing I've seen yet. All I did was upload a CSV file of San Francisco crime data and I managed to get the data visualized. So I'm gonna show you exactly how good this data actually does look. So you can see right here that they managed to visualize the data for San Francisco and you can see it actually plots it into a very nice graph and also it visualizes the data right here as a different type of graph with actual latitude and longitude and showing literally the worst areas for crime. You can see that this is the yellow and then of course you can see it's actually highlighting that area right there. Now I think it's going to be interesting to see how when you ask ChatGPT to visualize data in a certain way saying make it the most visible, make this available in red, show you know the trends going on show if a certain trend is increasing i think all of this stuff is going to be very very interesting and i think this is cool because i mean normal people that aren't like you could say data analysts or data visualizers are going to be having access to this tool that means information is going to be shared much more quickly and much more effectively which i mean like i said now we are in that information age and ai is honestly just rapidly accelerating that so you can see right here as well that you're able to get the distribution of crimes by hour of the day and day of the week and maybe Maybe you want to be able to plan your week more effectively by seeing which days there are more crimes and honestly this is uh this is honestly very very interesting i mean you know if you have any data this would take a lot of time beforehand but like i said ai is always literally changing the industry shocking the industry doing many different things so if you found this video very entertaining let me know what you thought of code interpreter if you want to use it are you going to be using i know that is something that i'm definitely going to be using especially for perhaps business analysis data analysis multiple different things as long as you can you know export it in the csv ChatGPT can analyze it and give you trends and remember that ChatGPT is not just an ai that just does what it's told it actually can pull on a vast majority of data and it's really really smart and it can analyze trends and has a really high iq so it's definitely something that you should be taking advantage of and with that being said um ChatGPT once again raises the bar again and the air race continues to heat up.